Welcome back. After two days of unsuccessful voting to secure a new House Speaker, Republicans are opting for a new plan. The struggle to find a new speaker now having dragged on for two weeks, more than two weeks, actually. It has. So Tia's here, and you've got the details on the new approach that's going to be taken. Yes, it's really interesting. So I want to be very clear here that Jim Jordan still does want to become the next House Speaker in all of this. Jordan isn't dropping his bid to become the next House Speaker, but for the time being, Jordan temporarily supports empowering the Speaker pro tem, Republican Patrick McHenry, until January. We're continuing to talk with, with members, um, but I got to get to a meeting to kind of move a little faster here. And like that, he rushed right off. The House remains in a holding pattern after Republicans failed to elect a new House Speaker for the third consecutive day. They have been trying since Tuesday to rally enough votes for the Speaker designee, Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan, but there have been two failed votes over the past two days. Now on Thursday, a, that's today, a new plan emerged to make North Carolina Congressman Patrick McHenry the first acting speaker of the House. And right now he is the speaker pro tem. The push to make him the acting speaker came after Jordan said he would step aside until January and then try again. But after hours of closed door debate, he could not sell that plan to the entire conference. It's about the continuity of government. I always believed the names I was putting on the list could carry out and keep government running until you elect a new speaker. Well, it's not clear at this point whether the Republicans will go back to the drawing board on this or keep pushing to get Jordan elected. Time is definitely a major factor here. The continuing resolution funding the government expires in just 29 days. And of course, Anthony and Natalie will continue to follow this story. Okay.